My name is Erica Durham and I'm a certified behavioral health peer support specialist in Helena, Montana with Extraordinary Distances and I'm the executive director. Um, I offer peer support services to individuals in the community that are dealing with behavioral health obstacles in their life, um, being addiction, mental health, or co-occurring being that addiction and mental health together. I, I help individuals identify what recovery looks like to them. I am a trusted friend. I'm a holistic provider that people can reach out to in their times of need. Um, a lot of times people feel very, they, they, they don't see what that recovery is possible for them because they've given up hope. So a peer support specialist can help them identify where the hope still lives within them. Working with others, um, I share my story that it doesn't seem so overwhelming and doesn't have to be shameful or they don't have to have guilt um, because a lot of times people carry around a lot, a lot of heavy things in their past that they don't want to talk to others about because they feel shameful or guilty or they just feel like they don't have anyone that understands. As a peer, they can talk to me without judgment and they can share what's in their heart and they don't feel that they are different because I am them. So I'm a resource hub. Um, I know the resources in a community where because I've lived through this experience, I've been through many of these pathways myself and I help others jump through those hoops that could prove to be obstacles in gaining recovery because it's overwhelming and I pull my community resources I together and I reach out to other individuals through my own journey and through my business that and being a peer supporter I use my connections I I help make the path a little bit more bearable. I didn't know where the journey was going to take me as a peer supporter. I just had a hope and a dream. Um, I was trying to look at it from an outsider's point of view. When I go somewhere, where would I go where I feel safe? Where would I go where I feel that it's very non-confrontational? Where would I go where I could connect with someone? And I'm an artist first and foremost. That's a part of my personality. I, I'm always thinking outside of the box. It's a part of one of the greatest assets, I think, that led to my addiction, my behavioral health, my mental health, all of it. It was the core of my being. So I use those skills that I would use in active addiction or with mental health to kind of look outside of the box and how would I think through being a person in recovery and how would I want to feel safe and comfortable and relaxed where I could really find healing. And I'm at the Rodney Street laundromat and who doesn't need their clothes washed? It's a basic needs service and so I I was trying to look at location in Helena where we could reach individuals 
who were facing obstacles that they felt overwhelming. So I was trying to look at where the most need in the community was. And I literally sat down at the Grateful Bread across the street and I was brainstorming where could I be a solution in our community. And I looked at the laundromat and I just, I was next to the probation and parole office, just a block from the courthouse and the jester's bar across the street where, where I got kicked out of at one point. And I saw hope there. And by providing a basic need service, you have people that are really struggling when they're coming in and doing their laundry. Um, and what do you have at a laundromat? You have nothing but time and you have nothing but your thoughts while you're waiting for those washers to spin and the dryers to go. So I thought that if there was someone just to talk to you while you're waiting, that many people in the community could benefit from just knowing that there's a resource and an opportunity for them to talk as well. And people can come into the laundromat, they don't have to be on any path, it's open to the public, but they can also just talk. And that's sometimes that's all we need as individuals is someone to listen. And as a peer support specialist, that's what I do, is I listen and I, I help others find maybe what their purpose is.